Hey there, how's it going? It's Mift Crew here. We're going to be taking a look at how to add Gary's Mod add-ons to Source Film Maker. So, yeah, let me take my glasses off of this. Not really glasses and that recording. Alright. So, I mean, not, the, not, that there's a, not that there's anything wrong with glasses, but they reflect a lot. So, I <laughs> thought I'd take them off there. Uh, so, basically, how you do it is that, uh, let's say you've got an add-on that you want, and you open up the fold, you, you go into the file explorer basically, uh, then you go to wherever you saved, wherever you put your SFM, wherever your SFM folder is located. Now for most people it's C, uh, let's just wait for that to load up. Uh, this is uh, the way for me as well. Uh, so yeah, you just go to C, program files, uh, bracket times 86, another bracket. Uh, it goes all the way down to Steam. Uh, but then we click on Steam Apps. Then we click on Common. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, uh, this is optional, but usually to make it easier uh, to get to Common, I just right click on it, click Create Desktop Shortcuts, and then uh, and then just drag it out onto the desktop here. It's just so I don't have to go through all the files. And things like that really. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it, that's because I already have it. Oh, I might as well. I just thought that's a little tip I might show you, but anyway, yeah, you go to Common, after you go to Steam Apps, uh, and then you go to Gary's Mod. Uh, also, also, I want to say I'm very sorry for the lack of uploads with tutorials recently. Uh, I've been quite busy, anyways. Uh, we got the Gary's, another Gary's Mod folder here, just all together, and no. Tools, we just double click on that and then we click on add ons. And then I usually like to go to date modified uh, because if I just subscribe to an add on, then I'm gonna know it's the one at the top at the very top. Uh, if there's an add on specific I'm looking for, then I got the little search bar up here that I can just uh, search it with. So, say I wanted a Foxy. Say so if I just sub subscribe to an album called Foxy, and then it'll come up with all the ones with Foxy in it. Uh, it is a lot of uh, quick her notice. It is an add-on that uh, has the same name or a similar name. Then you might want to uninstall it and then subscribe to it again. Then go to date modified, uh, just because it might be rather difficult to find otherwise. Uh, for this video, we're going to be using uh, the cute kitten. The cute kitty add-on. So, yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna left click on it. We're gonna hold down Control and tap C. In other words, right click on it, and then click co click copy. Then we go back to the desktop, and uh, then we just left click on the desktop, and then we uh, click paste, and then it'll paste wherever it wants to paste, <laughs> and then uh, we could either use GMA Extractor or GMAD, whatever it is on this desktop. Anyways, uh, they both work the same. Uh, I'll show you with both ways. Uh, I usually do it with GMA Extractor, but if GMA Extractor doesn't work, I'll just use GMAD. So let's start with GMA Extractor here. Just double click on that. Uh, these are both free, by the way, and they're not free because it's no cracked or illegal or anything. It's generally free, uh, you, you don't need to pay any money for it. I'm sure you can donate maybe, perhaps, I mean, a lot of SFMs has happened because of GMA Extractor and uh, GMAD, so, yes, but anyway, we're going to click convert a single file. Uh, let's just wait for it to do that. No, it, it doesn't matter if you paste it onto the uh, desktop or elsewhere, by the way, the add-on that is, but in this video, we're going to uh, do it on the desktop, so let's go to desktop. And uh, uh, let's scroll all the way down until we see the cute kitty add on. There it is, cute kitty dot GMA. Uh, with all those random numbers in there. And then let's click open. And then it says it was successfully extracted, which is good. That's exactly what we want to see. And then here we got the cute kitty folder. And now uh, you're going to double click it. Uh, as you see, we've got models. We've got materials, models, and feline, alright, then. So basically, to actually, now that we actually got 
uh, the extracted folders. We're going to want to uh, go back to add-ons, or uh, yeah, go back to add-on. We're going to want to go back to common. Then uh, we're going to want to click on Source Filmmaker, this folder right here, and then you see the game folder. The game folder. We click on this right here, and then uh, we're going to want to go to User Mod. And after you're in user mod, you're going to want to go back to the cute kitty folder. And you see where it says materials, the starting materials, let's say. You're going to want to click on that, and then uh, we see uh, it takes us to models. So uh, let's uh, go back to the source filmmaker folder and click materials. And let's see, does this already have models as a folder? As a folder, I mean, sorry. Uh, yes it does, so we're going to want to double click on that. We're going to want to go back here and double click on that. See, Feline, does it does it already have the folder Feline? Yes it does, so we're going to want to double click on that. And do I already have this add-on? Oh, I think I do. Anyways, that doesn't matter though. Uh, I'm just going to replace the existing files uh, just for the tutorial here. So let's see, we're going to want to do that. Drag it here. And yep. Let's replace that. Uh, for you, it won't already be there. Obviously, that's just because apparently I already had the add-on. I I thought I was getting a different add-on, but no. Anyway, let's go back to the user mod folder. Uh, let's go to let's go back to the oh, oops. Let's go back here. Let's go back to the cute kitty folder. Now let's click on models. And now let's go to user mod. And uh, let's click models, and then let's see what have we got here. So models just takes us to these files. So uh, let's just copy them and paste them in here. Does it really matter if you drag or drop or copy? And of course, for me, it's gonna ask me if I want to replace. That's because, like I said, I already have them. But it shouldn't happen for you though, unless of course you already have them. Uh, and then let's click replace. Now let's go back to the cute kitty folder. Uh, we don't really, you can just ignore this little info here. It doesn't really matter. And um, yeah, that's more or less it. Uh, let's open up Source Filmmaker, and uh, yeah, then I can, can see these models basically. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, if you uh, do this while Source Filmmaker is open, uh, it is, it will still work, but the models won't appear. Unless you, unless you click rescan, I uh, just thought I might let you know on that. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's create, and now we click on add model. Uh, when it will let me, that is. Uh, anyway, let's click. Let's add a model now. Let's click on. Let's click rescan. Actually, if it will let me, that is. Okay, here we go now. So let's type in. Kitty, I guess. And it may take a while, as you can see. MDL, it's still searching for files, so uh, it should be able to find it. And uh, yeah, but one thing I do want to uh, mention though is that if you search the name that it should be and you still can't find it, even though you've rescanned it and everything, uh, make sure to go to the add on that uh, of Gmod and make sure that. Uh, let's try cat actually. To make sure that it actually has its name. Actually, no. Try going to the folders, uh, the files that you uh, imported, and then see what names you can find. And try typing one of them in. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, like I said before, go to the description of the add-on, and if you still can't find it, uh, then uh, just search through the user mod, I suppose, and hopefully it'll be there. As you can see. Uh, I can't actually find it also, so let's go to cute kitty here. Uh, let's see, so Feline, maybe I have to search Feline. Feline, there you go, as you can see, we've got the cute cats here. Uh, just to show you that it's working properly, let's uh, uh, say, so is there a desert map? Okay, here we go now, and as you can see, uh, we've got the uh, cute kitty cats here basically. That we just got from Gary's mod. In uh, terms of comments or contacting me in any way when it comes to asking for help, 
uh, I would much appreciate it if you were to scroll through the comments first and uh, see uh, what you're stuck on has been answered already and and uh, I would also much appreciate it if you were to also look it up beforehand uh, it's not that I don't like it when people ask me questions but in fact I really appreciate it but you see the thing is I found myself answering the same questions uh, so many times so if you could please you know look into it read the comments things like that uh, before uh, before like commenting or let or asking me about uh, the issue or anything like that uh, it must be really appreciated just to avoid me having to uh, uh, answer the same question over and over again uh, of course uh, if I answer the same question again let's say like three times or something and I still get the same question uh, then I'm afraid uh, I think I'm gonna have to just not answer it anymore because three times is the max I'd say and uh, yeah that's uh, just wanted to uh, uh, let you know about that and uh, yeah of course I've been drinking I've been drinking water very refreshing Thank and now I'm going to show you the other way of uh, extracting uh, Gmod add-ons for Gmod this time uh, it's just so you know how to use both ways really so let's see so after you install Gmod which is uh, also free uh, you're going to want to double click on the .exe uh, that's, then it should open up I guess and then and in its own time it'll open up this little window right here uh, let's click open and then uh, it may bring you to all the add-ons that you got but if, you, but if it doesn't then that's okay wherever your add-on is located uh, just click browse and then go to the file location like I said before in this case it's the desktop we're going to want to then go to QKitty open that up and then select this click select uh, and then it extracts all to wherever you want to extract it to let's say the desktop and it's so all been successfully extracted and then it'll just give you these basically uh, again we got this add-ons file but you don't need to do anything with that you could delete it if you want I'm pretty sure In, uh, a thing or two that I forgot to uh, mention is that uh, some models may have a missing texture when you import them into Source Filmmaker let's say this guard for example not that guard there but this guard let's say right here as you can see it's all missing texture even in the preview it is uh, I'm not too sure how to fix it uh, if I was to guess I'd say uh, looking at the description seeing what's required and whatever is required whatever is required then you would try and find an SFM version, so one that's uh, so the same add-on, just Source Filmmaker, or export that that add-on from Gmod to Source Filmmaker. Uh, also, another issue that I uh, encountered that you may as well. I mean that you may encounter also. So let me just go to Workshop here real quick. This is in the Workshop actually. So even some models that you can subscribe to in Source Filmmaker but may crash basically I go over it or uh, I import it or something and then it just closes my SFM but I think it's these four models right here if I click on one of them just closes my SFM as you can see it's oh hang on and that doesn't appear to be actually only like I said there was like some sort of model oh no, there you go now it closes so uh, how to fix those to be honest I'm not actually sure to be honest I don't actually know how to fix that one I'm afraid uh, maybe you could uh, uh, help me if you'd like to if you know who that is <laughs> that would be much appreciated of course it's optional everything is and and yeah thank you for watching it's Mr. Crew here and I'll be back with more videos coming soon goodbye